a function f x is such that okay this function is given where x is greater than a and we are saying a is a constant we need to find the least possible value of a meaning least means the minimum value of the a okay now how do you approach this question if you have no idea you always start with the basic function of logarithm which is ln x and we try to sketch this okay when you sketch this you will know that it is in this particular shape and i think as an additional math student you know that this one is going to be 1 and 0 how do you do this ln 1 is technically 0 that's why you write that 1 0 now you inspect at your x axis over here if this is 1 so the function is defined for any value that is greater than 1 so we are taking all of this value but then there is this tiny part over here which is lesser than the 1 so what kind of x value can i take for that if i were to take this particular part of the graph i can take value that is slightly lesser than the 1 and same goes for this one it's just that i know that the function is not touching the y axis therefore my x cannot be 0 so this particular part you will write it as x greater than 0 but it is less or equal to 1 and this yellow part over here is x greater than 1 or you can even include greater than or equal to so together we say the domain of this function is x greater than 0 so if you want to define any function you should know that this part over here needs to take a value that is more than 0 you can try using your calculator you try put ln of negative 3 it won't work you try putting ln 0 it will be undefined but it will work if you put 0 0.25 because it is a value that is greater than 0 so using the same concept i know that that this inner part needs to be greater than 0 so i'll do 2x plus by 3 more than 0 which will give me x greater than negative 3 over 2 since they ask for the least possible value of a you cannot leave your final answer in this manner you need to write that a is equals to either negative 3 over 2 or negative 1.5 now the second part of the question one is to find the range of the f what is the meaning of range range refers to your output values for a particular x value what kind of output will i get so i can do this in an easier way by asking myself what is the maximum y value that can be accepted by the function and what is the minimum y value that can be taken by the function so let's see where is my y my y is here okay so what i will do i will go and pull the part of my graph towards the y it means for this particular x value here this is the y i am getting so a y is defined for that particular point so i can take this y value so looks like i can technically take all of this y value so if i'm taking this of course i'm getting the zero so the my highest y value is technically positive infinity and i can extend the graph to the lower part and see if i extend my y axis i know my ln function will go very near to that so all of this part is also defined so my minimum y value is negative infinity so how do you write your answer for this you can just say y element of real number if you are unsure just write range of f is element of real number if this is very difficult for you you can even write y is in between negative infinity to infinity but make sure that you don't put an equal sign here because we are not so sure what is the exact value of an infinity okay now part c says you need to find the inverse function and you got to state its range for of course this defined value of the a so step number one let's ask ourselves what is our fx it is given as ln 2x plus 3 plus ln 4 where your x is more than negative 1.5 so step one maybe i can merge this by writing ln uh, 8x plus 
act well if you are unsure then i can just state the logarithm law for you ln a plus ln b is exactly ln a times by b that's what i have done there okay now you are interested with the f inverse x which you are not sure of so what we're going to do we're going to let this to be our y and we're using the idea of inverse okay let's say i have an x here and i have a y and my inverse function is dis defined this way that is the meaning of this expression over here now i can just go the reverse way the reverse way i can write it as f of course you're going to get the f f of y is going to give me the x so a counter way of writing this expression is this one okay i hope you see that now we can continue so what is my fx my fx is ln 8x plus 12 but now i need to put it as a y now my input of the function is y so i can write as ln 8y plus 12 equals to x let's rearrange and find what we want our aim is to get the y which will let it to be the inverse okay what happens if you bring the ln the other side you will get ex then 8y plus by 12 ex minus 12 8y y is the inverse make sure you rewrite it in the notation required by the question okay then the question is asking me to state its range so how will you do the range of inverse function at this point you need to recall that domain of your f inverse is exactly range of your function range of your f inverse is exactly domain of your f how do i know this i can actually use this diagram and quickly do a uh, an idea so what is this one these are the input of the inverse function so how do you write input domain of f inverse whatever you get outside here i mean uh, for the y here is what we call as the output so we say this as range of f inverse the output now now you go the reverse order if you go reverse order if i put if i start my journey from here i know that this is the input for my function for my function the f function so i can write this as domain of my f whereas this one will become the output for the function so output is usually written as the range range of the f now i hope at this point what you are going to do is you're going to compare them column by column you look at this can you see that the domain of the inverse is exactly the range of your function that's why i have written this so those who are struggling with the concept you can just look at it very quickly now what do we want we want the range of the inverse function so where is range range of your inverse function is exactly domain of this function which is given to us here can you write x greater than negative 1.5 of course you can't because you are answering for the range now so you switch the variable when they ask for range of f inverse then you can just write it as y greater than negative 1.5 if you want to be way much more detailed you can even write range of f inverse is greater than negative 1.5 Okay, moving on let's look at our d on this axis we need to sketch both the function and its inverse and we have to state the intercept exact intercept what is the meaning of exact exact an answer which is not in decimal okay of each graph with the coordinate axis now what we're going to do we're going to sketch our fx first you don't have to worry if you are unsure you can always use your calculator and plot values if you are really struggling with the sketching usually what we will do we will start with the domain given so my domain is negative 1.5 so i'm just going to do a dotted line here because i'm not taking the value of negative 1.5 i'm taking something that is greater than that and i'm very sure of the shape of the ln function all ln function um 
will be drawn this particular format the shape will never change okay now let's find our x intercept and the y intercept so how do you do that so at x intercept you know that the y value will be zero and then at the y intercept we know that the x value is going to be zero so let's do the y intercept as it's easy so my y value will be ln 2 see you put a zero here so 0 plus by 3 is just a 3 plus ln 4. You will get ln 12. This is what we call as exact value. Don't write it in decimal. Just leave it like that. So this is ln 12. Now when the y is equal to 0, what happens? It's ln. Uh, you can use the logarithm law and you can just write it as 8x plus by 12. If we equate to 0, the ln, if you move over here, you get e power 0. So 8x plus 12 equal to 1 and that will give x to be negative 11 over 8. This one is negative 11 over 8. So we are done with the normal function. Now I need to go for the inverse. How do I uh, draw the inverse function? What is the relation between a regular function? You mean the f I mean the x facts and its inverse. You should know that their relationship is defined by y equals to x line where the coordinate can be swapped. So now what, what coordinate do I have? I have negative 11 over 8 and 0. So the inverse of this is going to be 0 comma negative 11 over 8. You swap the x will become the y and the y will become the x. You swap it. Okay. Okay. And one more coordinate is 0, comma ln 12. And the inverse of this is ln 12, comma 0. So let's plot. Maybe I just change the color. So where is ln 12? Somewhere here. And ne negative 11 over 8 this way. Now before I start sketching, I want to define their relationship so that it's quite easy for me. Okay, how do I do that? I just go and draw y equals to x line. Just a sketch will do. You just make sure that their gaps are the same. What is y equal to x? When the x is equal to 1, the y is 1. When the x is equal to 2, the y is 2. So they are very balanced. So this is ln 12 now. And this is negative 11 over 8. So let's sketch it. See, let me show you. If I do this way, you can realize that all the three functions are meeting here. But what happens to my sketch here? It gets distorted. So you have to erase and draw it again so that they meet at the same point. Okay, looks like one of it is fine, but the other one needs some adjustment. More or less. Okay, in this 